So, as you know, medieval society was patriarchal. Men controlled uh, women's movements and activities. Uh, during the Middle Ages, women held the positions of mother, wife, peasant, or artisan. Uh, with the establishment of Christ, Christian monasticism uh, within the church, uh, other positions, other roles became available to women. So they could escape the path of marriage, child rearing, acquire literacy and learning, and uh, play a more active religious role. So this, in this period, there was a, a very a heavy church influence. Uh, also in music, um, all the creation and use of music was controlled by the church. Uh, this is why during this period sacred music was the most prevalent religious music. Uh, plain chant was the most important chant in this period or we can call it like Gregorian chant because uh, it was uh, not created but regulated uh, by Pope Gregory in, in the Middle Ages. And plain chant was sung uh, using Old Testament texts in the divine offices by monks, nuns and clerics. On the other hand, we have at this time, secular music. Uh, secular music was sung by French uh, jugglers and covers, and they were poet musicians. They create their own uh, lyrics and music, and they talk about love, courtly love. So if we want to talk about two important uh, women at this period, they were, with no doubt, Hildegard von Bingen and La Comtesa de Dia. Hildegard von Bingen was an important composer of sacred music in the Middle Ages. Uh, she composed more than 70 pieces of plain chant. And the important thing is that she refused to allow the church to treat women as subservient to men and taught that a uh, woman, a uh, woman was created in the image of God and likeness, uh, in the image and likeness of God. And also, she supported education and independence for women in a period when all of them had neither. And also, we have to talk about La Comtesa de Dia. Uh, she was probably the most important composer of. Uh, secular music. Okay, she was a troubadour, a female troubadour, mm -hmm. and uh, she was a feminist and revolutionary woman because she, in her songs, includes um, themes about love. And the important thing is that she assumes the main uh, role in her songs. She demands the power in the relationship. And now we are going to talk about resistance.